Talking about small business, startups, and local business news. It's the Small Business Show on Fruit FM with Nigel Harris. And I'm delighted to be joined this afternoon by David O'Coyman. So, hi, David. Hi, Nigel. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for uh, for joining us. Uh, David's come in to talk about his company in uh, Froome. Now, we mentioned uh, your company a couple of weeks ago because you'd, you'd done a sponsorship deal with the Cricket Club, hadn't you? Correct. That's right, yeah. It's an important part of the business here in Froome Forest is to integrate with the local community as much as possible. We appreciate that people don't just work all day long. They've got yeah. a you know an active social life, and a couple of our guys are involved in the Cricket Club, and one in particular was a strong advocate for us getting involved. We were looking for something like that. Mm. I wanted to, to do it when we became part of Schneider Electric. So as a sign that although the name above the door might have changed because we were brought into the Schneider Electric family about a, a year and a half ago. And I wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, it was clear that we still had the same kind of, uh, you know, core beliefs right. at our heart. Well, let, 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 let's start with a bit of background of the company because... Uh, you were previously Kell Systems. That's right. And now join the, the Schneider Electric family. Um, and somewhere in the, in the Schneider name is APC, which I recognise, because <laughs> APC is the letters on all those um, battery backup you got packs, it. don't we? We have, we have uh, for our servers in the office when the power goes off. That's the The guys. APC backup power cuts in, doesn't it? But that's, that's obviously right. a, that's a different division to, to yours. So, so tell us a bit about uh, your company. Sure. Well, there is actually a relationship between the two, funny enough. We are part of the APC, or I should say our product is uh, is branded APC as well. So we're, we are in a similar sort of family uh, part of the, the Schneider group. But we started back in um, 2004. There was just a, a small number of us, three of us. And the idea originally, or the problem, the reason that the, uh, our company came about was because we could find a professional rack to put your AV or your IT equipment in. And we could find a nice piece of furniture, but you could never find the two together. <laughs> right. You were always having to do something ad hoc for that particular job or that particular task mm. that you were up to. So we thought it would be a good idea to combine those two and make you know, a professional rack inside something that you wouldn't mind seeing in your business as opposed right. to locking away in it. So, yeah, so, so it's a box. It's got all the, the, the IT connections, but you've mm -hmm. got some sort of air conditioning have you or, or cooling it's, it's just forced air ventilation effectively it's like putting your IT equipment in a wind tunnel really <laughs> what we're doing is we're just taking the ambient air from the office environment right. sucking it in to the cabinet mm. through sort of clever labyrinthian pathways that Ooh. don't allow the sound to come back out yeah, it's a nice right. bite, that one and delivers that cool air sort of right at the front of the equipment right. and then there's fans on the back super quiet fans we've been through Numer 25 different fans and fan manufacturers all <laughs> over the world to find these fans. Super reliable and incredibly quiet. And they pull the air through the IT equipment and then eject it right. back out into the office. It genuinely has appeal anywhere where space or noise might be an issue um, or cleanliness of the environment even because you can, you can dust yeah. filter with the product. Right. So big cities you know, crave the product, in fact. You can imagine it doing well in London, but it also... They're in Tokyo, Beijing. Right. There's a couple in Bali. Um, <laughs> there's even a, there's even two in the White House. Uh, Fantastic. And, and NASA has one. So there's well, a great customer list there. Yeah, I, I see from one of the press releases uh, I was sent that uh, your customers include Microsoft, NASA, Shell, the Royal Navy, mm. and the Red Bull Formula One That's racing right. team. Did, did <laughs> yeah. you get to deliver that one in person? <laughs> Unfortunately not. I did get to be visited afterwards, though, up in Cambridge, right. which was fantastic. Just yeah. to make sure it's still working. That's right, that's right. And stuff. Honda has one too, so it's fair. We're oh, good, just... good. <laughs> One of the one of the things that that was interesting when you were talking uh, earlier about the the way you sort of blended traditional mm. carpentry cabinet making skills into sort of something modern, and I guess perhaps there's something there that that maybe businesses could be learning or thinking about as as technology moves on, as businesses change. You know, we've got to take some of these traditional skills. We do, which we don't want to lose, but but we need to find new applications for them, don't right. we? Right, and and really those skills. Um, they get bucketized, they get put into niches, mm. you know, of, you know, we make furniture for the garden or furniture for the home or whatever. Yeah. But what these guys actually have is an incredibly tailorable 
set of skills that can be yeah. applied to all sorts of different environments. Mm. And so, so, so folks who do this, they have an incredible attention to detail, an incredible mm. mind um, yeah. for, for those kinds of tasks, incredible mm. ability to assemble things, put them together, incredible attention to quality at the mm. end of the day, because with our product in particular, if it's not 100% right, it won't soundproof and therefore it won't do its, it's job. Good, is it? yeah. so it's got to be absolutely mm. bang on. Out of all you've learned, out of all you've done, is there, is there one thing that you would say if you were talking to a local business person or somebody starting up, mm. what, yeah. what's the one thing you reckon they, sh- they Gosh, should do? Gosh, it's hard to pare it down to one thing. Um, but probably I think that the theme that came back more and more from the, the questions that you asked and the answers that I found naturally coming to the service was include. Mm. Is in, include everybody. If you try to do it in isolation, you will, you, you'll miss the chance of being you know, more than the sum of your parts. If you try to run a business on your own, I've been lucky over the last number of years, I've managed to bring people on board to do the things that I'm personally no good at or don't like doing. And I've surrounded myself now with a wonderful team who really support you know, really support everything that, that, that we have going on. It really feels like an inclusive kind of uh, environment. Well, David O'Climbin, really appreciate you coming in. Real pleasure. That's been great to have you. David from, get this right, APC by Schneider Electric. <laughs> you got it. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Very good.